Hi everyone, Anshita this side. Welcome back to AV Automation Hub. In today's video, we are going to learn what are variables in Postman. So in Postman, the variable means a placeholder that can save your value so you can use it across your request without hard coding it. There are multiple use cases where we can use a variable. So the first use case is, for example, you have a base URL and URL gets changed. In that case, you have to update all the APIs. So instead of updating it manually in all the API request, what you can do, you can use variable in that case and update the value at one place and it will be updated for all the requests. Second use case is, for example, you're working for multiple environments, maybe QA, prod, pre-prod, right? And based on the environment, the URL is getting changed. So in that case also, you can switch between different, different environments based on the variable. So in short, if you have a data which is getting repeated, in that case, you can use variable. So Postman supports variable at different scopes. So now let's understand first is global variable. Global variable means it can be accessed across all the collections and environments. Then comes the collection variable. Collection variable means which is shared across all the requests in a specific collection. So I will give you a demo also. First understand the basics and then we'll see the demo also. Next one is environment variable. Environment variable, which is used for specific environment, for example, staging or production. So in that case, you can use environment variable. Then comes data variable for data-driven testing, which we have seen in the previous video. If you want to do data-driven testing using CSV or JSON, you can use data variable in that case. The next one is local variable. So local variable, it is temporary and it exists only during the request execution. So these are different variable scope in Postman. If you are working with Postman, it's very important to understand what are the different variable scopes. And this is also asked in interview. Now let's understand the syntax of variables. So the syntax is you have to write this in the curly brackets like this. For example, over here, if you see variable name, this is inside the curly brackets. So this is how you can use variable and you can retrieve the value. Next comes the priority of this variable scope. This is very important and one of the famous interview question as well. The first priority is, so I have defined it in this way. P0 means the top priority. So the first priority is given to your local variable. You have a variable with the name URL and same variable is defined as global variable, collection variable, environment variable, data variable and local variable. In that case, the first priority would be given to local variable. Then the second priority would be given to your data variable then environment variable, then comes your collection variable, then in the last priority would be given to your global variable. So this is only in the case when you have the same variable name all across. This is a sample diagram of variable scope which I have downloaded from Postman official website. So local variable is your top priority, then comes data, then comes environment, we have collection and then in the last we have global variables. Now we have understood what is variable and what are different variable scopes in Postman. Now let's see a quick demo. So this is my sample API. This is a get API in which I have defined this variable, which is page value. And the same variable is defined at all the five levels. So if I show you over here, I have defined it at the environment variable. You see over here, this is value three. I have defined it at global variable. I've also defined it at the local variable. So this is my local variable and the value is five. And I want to show you at the collection level as well. So we'll just go to three dots, click on edit. And here in the variable tab, you will see the collection variable. So collection variable is set as two. And I've also set it at the data variable where the value is four. So here my local variable is five, four, three, two, one. Now let's say I have defined it at all the level. If I hit my API, so it should be running it for, for the local variable. So here we have all the variable with the same name, fine. So now let's test it. Let's check the console. So here if you see, the page value is five. That means if you have the same variable at all the level, it will be picking up your local variable first. Now let's test if we do not have local variable. Next one is our data variable. So it should be picking at the data variable. But this is only when you run through collection. So if we run through collection, what we can do, go over here. Here the value is four. So this is the data level. Now if I Run this API. So the get API should be called for the page value, which is four. Okay. Now let's run it and let's, let's see the console. So over here, you see the value is four. So from where it is picking, we have commented the local variable. So the next scope is our data variable. Now let's remove from the 
data level also so now you can see there is no file selected if i hit my api it will be executed for the environment variable our environment value here is 3 so now if we hit the api it will be executed for page value so you see over here this is 3 so 3 is our environment variable so if we do not have local variable and data variable the next priority would be given to your environment variable let's see if we do not have environment variable also let me just save it we just have global variable and our collection variable so for example now if i am running it for collection so how we run for collection i'll quickly show you so this is at my collection level the, the value is 2 over here if i run it at collection level so it should be executed for page value as 2 see over here the value is 2 and the last priority would be given to your global variable for example in order to guess that i will remove from here and let me quickly save it and now if i rerun my api it will be executed for page value as 1 which is my global variable so this is how your variable scope is prioritized in postman so yeah this is quick video about what is variable what is the variable scope in postman and what is the priority of this variable scope so in the upcoming videos we will see how we can fetch this variable and how we can set it so yeah, that's all for today's video it's a short series on the post if you like the content please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching